One of the reasons that dogs are such beloved pets is quite simple. They come in all shapes and sizes. There are big dogs for those who want one that can match them, or smaller dogs that they can carry around in their arms with ease. There are dogs that are energetic, dogs that are lazy, dogs that are protectors. There are dogs that are social. It's all very wonderful. The catch, though, is that there are also dogs that are illegal. Yes, there are species that you can't have in certain parts of the world. So here now are 20 most illegal dog breeds in the world. Number 20. Dogo Argentino Now I'm going to begin with a dog that many of you have likely not heard of, the Dogo Argentino. And there's a reason for why you likely haven't heard of them overall, and that's because they were bred to be hunting and fighting dogs. More specifically, they were bred to be the companions of hunters in various parts of South America, hence the name, and they were honestly a great success on that level. They're powerful in many senses of the word, and their bodies are indeed refined to be the perfect kind of hunting companion. Hey. 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 If none of this screams, well, that should be a banned illegal dog, well, then you're not looking in the right place because these are also the dogs that were raised and trained to be able to fight things like pumas and wild boar. So what do you think that this dog can do to other creatures, including its owner, should it decide to get aggressive? That's not just a hypothetical, it is a potential fact. These dogs are wired a certain way that if you were to try and take them away from the active lifestyle that they're known for, it can end up going very badly for you because they're going to need to get active in other ways, which obviously can lead to all sorts of problems. This is why this dog is illegal in most places. Dogo Argentinos are illegal or banned in several countries around the world, which includes the Cayman Islands, Norway, Fiji, Denmark, Iceland, New Zealand, Australia, Turkey, Singapore, the Ukraine, and the United Kingdom. There are also a lot of restrictions on owning them in certain areas of the United States. So while you might be impressed with this dog species, getting it and then keeping it may be a bit of an issue for you. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Pit Bulls the pit bull is without a doubt one of the dogs of the world that is most associated with being dangerous, so much so that there are plenty of phrases in culture that are about being aggressive like a pit bull, or having someone small be like a pit bull in everything but size and so forth and so on and all kinds of other ignorant things. We do need to be clear here that there is at least some truth to the statements. That's because pit bulls for a long time were actually considered one of the best breeds of dogs to have for dog fighting. They weren't picked at random to be part of them for the record. It was a good selection as the pit bull line isn't known to be the most friendly with other dogs if not trained well, and they can have a certain edge to them that can make them incredibly aggressive when they want to be if not trained well. The flip side to this is that if you do get a pit bull while it's young, it can be an absolutely great family pet. It won't be the best compared to others, but it'll still be a good dog, and yet in various countries, which includes the United States, the dog is banned in certain places. Cities and towns in about 40 states in the US have either banned or restricted the pit bull, which is not even an actual breed. The prohibition is due to breed-specific legislation, or BSL, a big emphasis on the BS, and it can can limit or prohibit some breeds of dogs, especially if it classifies them as vicious or dangerous. Is that fair for the pit bull, which isn't even a breed? Well, in its own way, it can be because they can be aggressive and potentially dangerous if not trained well. But the myths about them are far greater than what they actually become, especially when all they want to do is really sit on your lap and lick your face off and snore and fart. Number 18. Rottweilers. Rottweilers for some are dream pets, 
They can be big, imposing, and yet have a loyalty to them that makes them perfect for certain owners. They're also known to be quite affectionate animals when they're treated with proper respect. The catch, as you likely know, is that these dogs are known for the more dark stories that surround them and how they can be so vicious at times that they're actually banned in certain parts of the world. But let's talk about the truths of the matter. The Rottweiler wasn't actually meant to be a dog that would be feared by all. In fact, they were originally bred to help out farmers. Yes, they were originally a type of herding dog, which is a pretty cool thing when you think about it. Eventually, though, that part of their life would be phased out, and it was only then that they became police dogs. And yes, they do make really good police dogs, as they're able to track down bad guys and make them wish that they'd never broken the law in the first place. And yes, they can be aggressive and fierce outside of the job when they need to be, but again, it's not as bad as some people think, yet it doesn't stop the bans from happening. Ecuador and the Bermuda Islands have both banned Rottweilers as pets because they deemed them to be territorial and potentially dangerous. Other countries such as Ireland, Portugal, Romania, and Singapore have also placed restrictions on the ownership of the breed. If you're outside of those areas though, by all means, please consider getting a Rottweiler. You might be surprised with how it goes. Number 17. American Bulldog the American Bulldog is a very curious entry on the list because if you know your sports teams, you know that the Bulldog is the mascot of many, many of them, which includes the current reigning national champions of college football, the Georgia Bulldogs. And yet their reputation and aggressiveness and wariness of others have gotten it either banned or restricted in various places. Now, I know that the American Bulldog is not like the Bulldog that is represented for the Georgia Bulldogs, so you don't really have to say anything thing in the comments below. There is a big difference between the English Bulldog and the American Bulldog. I just read what's written on the words, people. Come on. Now, in the United States, the place that the dog's named after, it's gotten bans via Arkansas, Colorado, Missouri, Nebraska, New York, Ohio, Oregon, Texas, Washington, and West Virginia, as well as being banned in countries like Bermuda and Denmark. The descendant of the English Bulldog, the American Bulldog was first bred to be a help to farmers, a common theme amongst many dog species, and as a result of that, they're big, strong, and loyal to their owners. American Bulldogs are typically confident confident, social, ebullient, and lively dogs that are at ease with their families, they love hanging out with their masters, and thus they can be a good pet. However, they're not as friendly with people that they don't know, and that could also include pets if you're not careful. So thus, people are told to train their dogs to be social at an early age, or else they may end up paying the price. Speaking of price, you'll be paying the price if you leave this dog alone for a long amount of time. They're not meant to be a solitary creature. They have to be active, and not letting them be that can actually lead to issues. Issues that have indeed gotten it banned in various countries. Number 16. German Shepherd German Shepherds are famous because of their looks and their roles in things like law enforcement, but if you were to actually get one, the thing that you'd notice about the dog pretty quickly is that this dog just never runs out of energy. Like, ever. That's by design, believe it or not. The German Shepherd was bred to be one of the most active dogs out there. They have energy to burn, and part of the fun is working with them to burn it off. But as you might have guessed, that's also part of the reason that they can be so dangerous. That energy can get them into trouble and make them more aggressive than they need to be. Plus, they do honestly look dangerous, so that's helped fuel all kinds of perceptions about them over time. But a true thing that you need to know, that if you're planning on getting your first dog, Well, you probably should stick away from getting the German Shepherd. They're a species that requires an experienced dog owner due to the Shepherd's own personality and style, and those who can't control the dog are going to find themselves in some serious trouble. The United States, Ireland, Ukraine, Belarus, Maldives, United Arab Emirates, Romania, Malaysia, Singapore, Iceland, and Bermuda all have various laws either banning or restricting the German Shepherd, which is a bit odd considering 
considering that the United States is one of those places that uses them the most as working animals. But that's because only part of the states ban or restrict them, and apparently that doesn't apply to law enforcement. You can make your own joke here, and I'll just move on. Number 15. Fila Brasileiro Fila Brasileiro has another name that honestly fits the dog more, the Brazilian Mastiff. And Mastiffs, as you hopefully know, are really big dogs that can cause problems if you're not careful. And many people, well, they're just not careful, are they? To be more specific, this dog was developed to be a hunting dog and a ranch and plantation dog. So what does that show? Well, simply put, these were meant to be working dogs, and they're meant to be treated as such as well. They were meant to fight off jaguars, work with cattle, and get the jobs done that they were assigned to do. They take what they do very seriously indeed. Oh, and they're also so big and powerful that they don't play well with others. Some people even recommend not having another dog if you own a Brazilian Mastiff, due to how the two will interact in the house, like violently. It's also recommended that you don't try to get the dog unless you'll be able to train and contain it. These dogs can be worked with so long as you have the strength and personality to match it. This dog is banned or restricted in a number of countries. That includes the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, Norway, Denmark, and others, and in the United States, insurance companies may cancel your homeowner's policy if you actually own the dog, which is a low blow if I'm being honest. But it does just go to show that because you can have a dog that is big and intimidating, that doesn't mean you necessarily should get a dog that is big and intimidating. It's all part of the circle of life in its very own way. Number 14. Gull Dong some of you may argue that many of the dogs that I've listed here so far are just misunderstood creatures, that the world takes offense due to their looks and occasional personality quirks, and you may be right on that front, to an extent, but this next dog I'm about to talk about, well, it's one that is absolutely a terror if you let it be one, and that's the Gold Dong. But wait, you've never heard of that dog? Well, there's good reason for that, mainly because the dog was bred in Pakistan and is considered one of the most rare dogs in the entire world, something that you don't think about when you talk about dogs. As for where the twist is, well, that would be the very nature of the dog itself. The Gold Dong is known to be a very grumpy dog, and that leads to all sorts of problems when you're trying to raise one. mainly in the fact that this dog is more than willing to attack its owner if the situation presents itself. That's not really the kind of dog you want. You want one that you know will be loving and kind to you, not secretly planning to hurt you when you tick it off. Due to its rarity, you won't find this dog in too many other countries, but in parts of the United States as well as the Cayman Islands of all places, there are severe bans and restrictions, and perhaps in this case, it very well could be for the best. Number 13. Neapolitan Mastiffs It was only a matter of time before we got to the Neapolitan Mastiff. These are big dogs with a lot of power that has very much turned them off to certain people in the world. Whether that's fair or not may be up to you, but they do have a pedigree for violence and intense action that can't be ignored. Well, how so? Because at one time they were actually raised to be gladiator dogs. <laughs> That's right, their ancestors were believed to have accompanied the Roman legionnaires as war dogs, showcasing their fighting skills in venues as spectacular as the Colosseum. That's really saying something when they literally bring a dog to war, hence the term war dog. By the time the true Neapolitan Mastiffs would be born, things had very much changed in the world, and whether that was for better or for worse is, again, very much up to you. But for the Neapolitan Mastiffs, they were the source of much breeding science science, and that would lead to them having certain things that keep certain owners away. Ironically, I'm not just talking about their size, I'm talking about other things like how much they drool. Although many people don't really associate Neapolitan Mastiffs with dangerous dogs, they are illegal to own in Singapore. In order to own one in Romania, you have to pass a psychological evaluation, a very extreme measure. But given that these dogs can weigh up to 200 pounds at times, and you want that as a pet, you might just need to get your head examined to own one. Number 12. Siberian Huskies 
These are a certain kind of dog breed that are seen as beautiful, so beautiful in fact that they're desired by people all over the world. The Siberian Husky is indeed one of those dogs, and whether or not you have the black and white fur, the colored brown fur, or the striking pure white Husky with blue eyes to match, you're going to have a good looking dog that might just run you ragged. Because while Siberian Huskies are great dogs to look at and to work with, it's only under certain conditions that they truly thrive. And ironically, that's part of where the bans come into place. In places like India, they've banned Siberian Huskies not because of them being dangerous, but because they're not really meant to be in the heat of areas like that country. It's true, the dogs are meant to be active in the cold and not in the hot. So over time, serious medical issues can befall a Husky if you have it in the wrong climate. And I speak from personal experience on this one. The bans at times are meant to help keep them alive and not suffering. Other countries like the United States have had the bans because it can invalidate homeowners insurance due to what the energetic animal can do to the home itself. And so if you do want to get a Siberian Husky, you might want to not just make sure they're not banned in your state or country, but whether your home is the right home for them in the first place, because you wouldn't want to make your new pet suffer, right? Number 11, Tosa Inu. Now we'll look at an exotic dog in another way. In this case, we're going all the way to the land of the rising sun to look at the Tosa Inu, who is a dog that's famous and infamous in Japan. But why is that? Well, sadly, it's because this is yet another dog that was raised and trained to be in dog fighting battles. Now, I hate talking about it, but it is true. In fact, there are still Tosa Inus right now that are doing dog fighting, showing that we still have a long way to go to truly protect the animals of the world. However, that's for another list on another day. Due to the pedigree that this dog now has, it's not one that's meant to be a dog for a family. It just isn't. They're so big and powerful and they have certain instincts that it's going to make them problematic even if you do get them as a puppy. And if you're trying to recuperate one after a dog fighting encounter, that's going to be even harder as they'll almost be inclined to bite you on the regular. They're banned in the UK, Ireland, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, and many other countries. And even if a Tosa is legal in your country, you need to be sure to find out if your landlord's even going to let you have a dog like this. Because depending on their insurance claims, they may be within their rights to deny you. Now, I'm not saying it's right to judge a species of dog. I'm honestly not. But there are many who don't want them around just because of what they represent and what they could possibly do. And really, that's that's a fair fear. Number 10. Doberman Pinscher Throughout the list so far, I've shown you all sorts of dogs that have been used by law enforcement, and the Doberman Pinscher is one that's most well known by far. These dogs are bred to be an aggressive species, if you allow it, and that makes them great attack dogs for the police and beyond. But that also gives them a personality that makes them a bit scary to everyone else. Many of you likely know that you can indeed have one as a pet in certain parts of the world, and if you do, you're going to be on the right side of things. But why? Because not only are these great attack dogs, but they're also great protectors. Good boy. And once they make a bond with their owner and the family around them, they'll go out of their way to protect them from literally anything that they feel is a threat. And if you're part of the family, well, that's awesome because you have an extra layer of defense to help you get through the day. But if you're someone who's just trying to visit, it might be a bit much. Doberman pinchers are big, they have one of the most powerful bites amongst dogs of the world, so yeah, you can see why people would be very easily intimidated by them. In countries like the Republic of Ireland, Bermuda, Romania, and Singapore, Doberman pinchers are classified as part of the prohibited, regulated, restricted, or banned dog breeds, so you'll definitely want to check out where your home lands on that list before you try to get one. Number 9. Hero de Presa Canario are you ready for another dog that was bred to be something more? Well then, prepare to meet the Perro de Presa Canario, a lesser known dog species that was bred to be guard dogs, and they can definitely do that role. 
If you can't tell, they're very large due to how they are from the Mastiff line, and when you add to that the aggressiveness that they can sometimes demonstrate, it certainly becomes a problem. <laughs> I got him. I got that too. That's also a problem is that they're known to be on guard almost all the time and that makes them difficult to own and not really the best dog to have around strangers. Australia and New Zealand both have restrictions and bans over importing and selling this dog. The bans were put into place as part of an effort to target dangerous dogs and in order to eliminate attacks by them. So yes, many countries take that threat of this dog very seriously indeed. Number 8. Boer Boel Remember when I told you that certain dogs were bred to go up against pretty massive creatures? The Boer Boel is one such dog species that can do that. They were brought into Africa to be able to go and fight lions and hyenas, two major predators. So yeah, the dog is huge. But it's not exactly a surprise that France, Qatar, Geneva, Switzerland, and Bermuda, amongst other places, all have a kind of ban upon this canine. They're truly that intimidating and massively powerful. What's more, they also have a personality that very much closes in on the family and tries to repel anyone or anything that's not really part of that. It carries itself with a confidence and power, it's fearless, and shows courage when threatened. This is not the kind of dog to be messed with, and that's why many are trying to restrict who can actually own it. Number 7. Chow Chow now you may hear the name Chow Chow and think that this dog isn't so bad, but it really kinda is, because beneath an exterior that screams hold me is the heart of a very vicious and cunning dog. They're banned in certain places in the United States, and not just for one reason, but for a whole variety of them. For example, they're extremely territorial and are known to lash out at people who infringe upon their territory. And when it comes to other animals, they're also known not only to attack ones who get into its territory, they're known to actually kill them. Do you see now why so many are fine with not having the Chow Chow in their country? Number 6. Cane Corsos did you know that in the United States, Canada, and many other countries, cane corsos are banned for the safety of people and their pets? Well, it's not really true. I've seen cane corsos where I live. It's probably not given that you're watching this video, but it is true. This is another dog that is considered to be a danger to pretty much everything around it. But why? Well, it should be noted that like others on the list, the cane corsos were bred to be hunting dogs and to protect their hunting partners. They're also big and heavy, and they can tower over others and then bite them without any care, which includes children at times. And sadly, there have been documented cases of cane corsos killing their owners, and that's more than enough reason to enact a ban. Number 5. Akita here we have another Japanese breed of dog in the Akita, and you might be familiar with this dog via certain stories in pop culture, but make no mistake that while this dog is special, it can be especially dangerous if it's not your dog. That's because the Akita is known for its loyalty to its family or owner, and only them. When it comes to strangers as a whole, they can be aloof and even downright aggressive. This doesn't just apply to humans though, it also applies to animals. They're known to be particularly aggressive to those animals that come into their territory, and that's going to cause problems for other pet owners. The Bermuda Islands and Singapore have both banned the ownership of this dog breed, while there are also restrictions in Spain, Ireland, USA, and the Ukraine. Number 4. American Staffordshire Terrier well, that's a mouthful of a name. The American Staffordshire Terrier is one of several terrier species that have gotten people to watch out for them over the course of their existence, mainly because of their pedigree. Even before they were this particular dog species, it was one that was rooted in blood sports like hunting. Uh, uh, 
and they're also often misclassified as a pit bull. And while the American Staffy doesn't have all that's within them now, it doesn't mean they won't lash out when they have the opportunity. In fact, they are known to unleash a deadly attack at times, and there are even lawyers out there who will do cases based on this particular dog attacking a person. In the end, though, the Staffy can be really sweet and loving, even with children and babies. It simply wants to lick them all over their face and nudge on them and snuggle and love them because they're a very good dog. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But even so, countries with bans or restrictions on the dog include Germany, Canada, Ireland, Israel, Norway, Spain, Romania, the United States, and more. Number 3. Rhodesian Ridgeback the Rhodesian Ridgeback is banned not in just certain countries of the world, but also places like the United States have specific cities that they don't want them within their borders at all, just showing how terrified of them that they are. So why is it that this dog strikes fear into the hearts of men? Well, part of that is their personality is incredibly strong. They're a species of dog that absolutely wants to be the boss, and thus you can't match that personality as you train them because you're going to be in trouble if you don't. Furthermore, there have been attacks by these dogs over the years, and that has resulted in people being very wary around them in general. Number 2. Sharpe. The Sharpe is another species that hasn't been as widespread in terms of its bands, but is able to say that it is a band dog in certain areas of the United States and beyond. The Sharpe as a whole is very much like another dog that I've talked about on this list. They're more than fine making bonds with their owners, but in terms of strangers, well, not so much. In fact, one veterinarian said about the dog species that a gentle one is the exception and not the rule. which is kind of harsh when you think about it. They're known to have personality issues as well, so if you aren't able to train them properly, those temperaments are going to come back to haunt you time and time again. Number 1. Wolf Dog the Wolf Dog is perhaps the most famous and infamous of breeds in the entire world, because as you've likely guessed, the Wolf Dog is a mixture between wolves of the world and certain domesticated dogs, or even wild dogs depending on the breed. The danger of this dog? Well, it's simple. It's still a wolf. Mind you, not a full-blown wolf, but a wolf nonetheless. That makes them incredibly fierce, intimidating, and prone to attacks in the right scenarios. Plus, wolves as a whole are not particularly beloved by our world today. So when you think about it, it's not surprising that their hybrid offspring aren't in anyone's good graces either. As a result of that, countries like Finland, Norway, and several parts of the United States have all banned the wolf dog outright. That's all from the realm of dogs that you're not allowed to have in parts of the world. Were you amazed by the dogs that have been banned from one place or another for particular reasons? And do you own one of these dogs and are glad that it's not banned in your home? Are there any other illegal dogs that can get on this list? And did you know that even a chihuahua could kill you if you don't train it right? So this list is pretty much full of ignorance. Be sure to check out the cool things that are popping up on your screen, leave me a comment in the comments section below, and I'll see you next time.